Hey folks, I wanted to share a design tool that I use all the time in my consultancy that I think will improve your consultancy dramatically. It's called the Solar Pathfinder, and it's a tool that you can use to analyze the solar radiation coming into a site um, or the shade that a site may be subject to at any time of the year for the entire portion of the year at any time of the day. So that was a lot of stuff that it does in a very, very short period of time. One of the things that's really good to do on a site is to observe it for a year. However, if you're designing a site for a client, you don't always have a year to observe it. Uh, right now we're in my food forest, and when I was designing this food forest out, one of the things that I had to consider was what kind of solar resource was I going to have access to with regards to uh, planting trees and things like that. So you can see behind me, there's a big spruce tree. And to the west, we've got this house here. So I wanted to know what the effect of those elements were going to have on the food forest itself. So the Solar Pathfinder comes in this little box here. I'm a huge fan of it because it doesn't require any batteries. Um, so you can take it onto, onto a field, uh, into the field and not worry about it running out of juice. Uh, it's extremely durable um, and it's got a couple of little features on here. So we've got a spirit level, we've got a compass, and then it's got these removable charts. And these charts are pretty unique because um, they've got all the months of the year on here. In addition, they've also got uh, the time of day from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you'll notice these little tiny numbers which correspond with a specific month. So for this one, it's actually December. These numbers represent a potential percentage of sun for that month at a given time of day. Um, and so we can look at this chart underneath the solar pathfinder itself to determine how much potential sun we're going to have or not have for the entire year. Now in the blog that I'm writing uh, or I've written um, I've put another video resource from solar pathfinder itself which actually takes you through step by step on how to use this device here, but I'll just uh, show you a couple of little things. So let's say I wanted to place a tree right here and I wanted to know how much sun uh, I needed. The rule of thumb is you want about five to six hours of direct sunlight per day. So that's what we'd be testing this against. So the first thing that we do is we place the stand where we think we're gonna place the tree. We orient it to south and you have to offset it just a little bit because magnetic north is slightly different than uh, actual north. And then we would look in this dome. Now, because the sun is out, one tip that I can give you about using this is you actually get better results when it's cloudy outside. It's very hard to see the shade. Uh, and, the, and in the second video that I'm gonna put in the blog, it has a much clearer description of how to actually go about analyzing sun and shade. Regardless, if you do a lot of design and consultancy, I highly recommend checking out solarpathfinder.com. In addition, check out our blog um, and you'll see additional resources for this tool itself. There are a couple other tools on the market that do use batteries and have kind of an integrated digital camera, um, but I'm not a huge fan of them because the batteries could potentially um, uh, go dead when, right when you need it. Uh, and the last thing that I'll say about it is, is Solar Pathfinder does have a piece of software that you can get for it as well that will allow you to do photovoltaic uh, and solar thermal analysis and put all the data in, put in your climatic region, and then it'll actually spit out a certain number of kilowatt hours, which is a measure of electricity, or thermal uh, output for a, a specific thermal power panel or photovoltaic panel. So great tool, highly recommend it. Um, hope that was helpful.